stop me if you heard this before, but lighting can either make or break your project. And no more is that true than in 3D. We're used to determine how realistic light looks because sunlight shines down and bounces from optic and people into the retina of the eye. That's why we immediately can see the difference between real light and artificial light. And that's a very difficult thing to replicate 3D. I mean, it took Toy Story about 20 years to make some of the most photorealistic lighting I have ever seen. But the thing is, they never gave up and you can make it too. But I will go over how light works in Blender and give you some tips that can make your light go from this to this. See, Blender has taken all the light we know from the real world and broken into four lamp types. Point light, sunlight, spotlight, and area light. I can't believe this software is still free, man. Point light is light you want if you need to light anything in all directions. It's light you see from the lamps on the sidewalk, car lights, candle, torches, lamp lights. Basically, if you want to light a lot of things, point light is the way to go. Now, sunlight is as the name says, a light that replicates the sun. Now, sunlight is useful if you need to light an environment and don't want to use a sky texture lighting, which I will get into later. But sunlight actually works great with an HDR eye to light up an environment. But I really don't see sunlight being used that much. It's probably my least favorite light type. Now, spotlight is a circle light you can direct at a target to give a dramatic effect. If you go to opera, you know what I mean. Also, you know that movie, Lights Out? Yes, that is spotlight. There's no way this scene would be scary if it wasn't for the spotlights. That was basically all the lights. Wait, you're forgetting the most important one. The what? You know the... Oh, of course, how could I forget? Area light. How can I say this? Take all the previous mentioned lights and combine them. That's area light. Area light is so underrated because it's so powerful. Area light is used for lighting up an area. It's what you see in ceiling lamps, photographic settings, and product lighting. You can make the area light as big as a sunlight or as small as a point light. You can change the beam spread to make it big or as small as a spotlight. Area light is just so versatile and it's my favorite light in Blender. But I need to mention, Blender has something called world light and it's lighting up the whole scene in Blender. But I recommend by default you just turn this off and use the four mentioned light types to actually light your scene. But here are some tips so you can take those four mentioned lights from beginner to next level. Soft boxes. A soft box is a light that shines through the material to make the light softer. You can make this by adding a plane onto the area light, parent the plane to the light and give the plane a translucent material. Soft boxes is actually often used in photography. Gobos. Gobos is when you add a silhouette in front of a light to project the silhouette onto something. If you need a shadow of branches or leaves, use a gobo. Now add a spotlight and add a noise slash image texture to the light. Change the scale until you have the desired result. I used the technique with the noise texture to make the background in my Coca-Cola product animation. Sky texture. Under world light, you can find the sky texture. This is a procedural generated sky you can change. And let me tell you, it's good. I actually used it in my sword fight, just with some additional area lights. So with all that said, how would I light up a product in Blender? Well, I would use free point lighting. First, I would add a plane in the back. Then I would use the area light as the key and fill light. Then use a point light as backlight to separate the background from the product. Also, remember to check your dimensions. The smaller it is, the better the result is going to be. Now, this is going to sound cheesy and it's also night here, but I hope I lightened up your day.